Okay, so we're filling in a table of values based on our relationship, in this case being y equals x minus 4. So uh, basically, we know all the x values that are given to us here, and we're to determine the y values where two of the y values are already given. Now, we can use those given y values just to kind of double check our method if we want to. So we take our relationship, y equals, and we see that it's x minus 4. So in this first row, we would say the x we can replace with brackets and a 0 minus 4. So what we could say is 0, take the brackets away, minus 4 equals minus 4. And we're done. And yes, indeed, that checks out. So we know that our method is solid. So let's go to the next one. y equals, and we would have x minus 4 again. Replace our x with brackets. And in this case, the x equals a 1. So we can get rid of the brackets now and just say 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So we can circle that and say there's our first answer. Let's go ahead and we'll double check ourselves here again. X minus 4, our relationship. And in this case, the X is 2. All right, so 2 minus 4 equals, and 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And that checks out. Okay, good. All right, so methods still solid. Y equals X minus 4. And in this case, the X is 3. So we can get rid of those brackets. And 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And so that was our second answer we were looking for. So we've basically completed this table. Uh, we double checked two of the given values to make sure that our method and everything we're doing looks good. And then we solved for the two remaining values.